Welcome back, everybody. Arcane Infinity. Today, well, we're on Instruments of Destruction. If you guys have seen anything about this, this is a game about destruction. Now, I've already gone through and, and did the beginning of all these uh, maps. So we have several uh, options here for the sandbox mode. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the test island. Now I have a number of vehicles on here. We'll pull up a couple of vehicles I've made here. Now these will be on the workshop and something about instruments of destruction, they give you 210 slots to save your vehicle so you have more than enough vehicles now we have a number of vehicles here I've been having a lot of fun here we'll start with something like mm, the hole puncher this right here is the hole puncher it's a heavy bastard it punches holes now we have several controls here we have our stabilization controls, which are on sliders. And we also have our other stabilization control. And you need these because, well, here, it's pretty fast. So we'll pull those up. And I, I did put some rockets on it so it can have all the power it need. As well as, um, well, let me show you what it does. You get close to a building. And then what you do is you bring down your little stabilizers here. Pull these down just a bit. And you're going to need the boost because this bastard goes crazy. And you just punch a hole straight through the building. Or you just punch the building out. One of the two. Either way it go. It'll be no more with the hole puncher. Now, see, the hole puncher comes with rotating spike balls on it as well as a pointy end, and it just goes crazy punching holes. Feel free to catch it on the workshop. Let's, 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 let me show you another one of these, these cool vehicles that I've built. These things are insane. I love these things. If you get a chance to pick up Instruments of Destruction, please do, it's an amazing game. Now, um, here's one of my first builds. Not my first, here's my first. I always name my first build my first. But this is the Major Chopper. Now the Major Chopper, it needed a revamp, but in the beginning, I just thought, hmm, we'll just chop and smash and bash our ways through a building. You know, one control controls them all. As you can see, she's a bit unstable and not fast. Uh, this was right before I found out about the overdrive block. And she, she's very heavy, but she just goes straight through buildings. Just chop, 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 chop. And see, we have saws on the side, just in case things get a little squirrely. But you see, there's nothing on the back. Nothing. Now, yeah, there's things for if you go over something, it'll crush everything in between you. You know. But it, it, it needed a revamp. It needed a desperate, desperate revamp. So, after the major chopper, we went on to the evil chopper. Because the major chopper... It chopped major things, but the evil chopper, like the major chopper, but a bit more evil, as you can see. More spike balls, more saws, and cannons at the rear. So we'll power her up. Still unstable, bouncing around as you can see. But still goes straight through the building. It's a bit more evil. I mean, it does the destruction. Major saws on the side. It takes out everything in front of it. And if there's anything behind it that it misses, yeah, it'll just 
eliminate all that. So the whole thing is, I didn't miss any part of that building. It's all gone. And that's the evil chopper. She's evil. This is my newest build right here. This is our latest major destruction machine. This one is called the Wedge Blaster. And as you can see, it's a wedge and it blasts. And I powered it up so she moves. As well as moving, she has boost. You know, just a made minor boost, nothing major. Now, as you can see, she turns and pivots. But let's let's show you what 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 really goes on when you use this thing here. Oh yeah, completely through the buildings. Just straight through everything. Now here's a crazy thing about it. If you hit the boost and you spam the shots, you think, oh, okay, I'm stuck on my side. No, turn while doing so. And we are freaking out everywhere. And destruction rains down everywhere. I'm not sure. Do we have one more to show? We may have one more to show. All right, we have these last two. These are experimental. Swinging death here. Now, swinging death has wires and cables, hard cables. It's um, it's a bit of a headache to drive. We have boost and such. We have a random cannon. But the best part are those flailing spiked balls as well as the spinning saws. Now, she seems to be stable and we have guide saws on the front to guide all the debris into the center to the center saws at the bottom, so we destroy everything. Now, spinning, swinging death is pretty badass. I mean, it'll take out any structure you put in front of it. As well as, you know, drop a shot on anything that wants to mess with you. All the leftover debris gone, but that's that's swinging death, you know. And oh, max level, nice. All vehicle parts and modes are now unlocked. Oh wow, are there more vehicle parts that I don't know about? I'm still waiting for a couple of these vehicle parts to be unlocked. Now, FYI, I've been playing around with the magnet. I plan on trying to make uh, somewhat of a rail gun, so that'll be the next quick update. But let's pop on to one more vehicle before we pop out of here. I just wanted to give you a little heads up. Now, Swinging Doom is similar to Swinging Death, except, well, we made those instead of cables, we made them solid. So let's pop this on down. now. Swinging Doom is a bit more, I guess you could say, refined. It's, I know you're saying it's just, you know, but by there not being cables and they're being solid, it actually smashes, you know, a bit slower and more deliberate. But it doesn't do as much as the other one, you see. So, which is why this one gives you doom, but the other one gives you death. See, they both do pretty much the same job. 
but swinging death is much more destructible much more destruction with swinging death than there's a swinging doom so um leave in the comments if you want me to put these on the the workshop uh i don't know i'm, I'm holding off till i perfect the swinging death and swinging doom but other than that uh keep your eyes open like i said this is just a quick update we're enjoying this instruments of destruction as everyone else is as well as we're going to try to make a rail gun i've just been messing around with a couple of the physics of it and i'm going to start messing around with the magnets and the ropes a lot more maybe the the floating mechanisms as well other than that you guys be good okay. Infinity. thanks again for tuning in like and subscribe for the win hit the notifications to stay informed when ladies and gentlemen you guys are wonderful until the end and i will catch you in the next one Keep your eyes open. Another cleaning up night city is coming your way soon.